this is about you. It's about what you want. It's about your demands. It's about how these elected officials have failed you. And as a mother, we are fighting for our children. We are fighting for our senior citizens. We are fighting for our disabled families. You are being punished for something that you have no control over. And it is time that we act now. We need to start banding together. Do not cut them in these slacks. Do not let them get away with what they're doing to you. What they're doing to you is neglect. That is abuse. It should be a crime. It's too long to take the ticket, so I have to wait like a mom, sometimes three moms, and he come busy, yeah, but he not doing nothing. Look at the ceiling. You know how many tickets I got for that? When you make the complaint, that he know it to you, like you're not a person, like you live in an animal house. I know he nothing, nothing. I can use the stove, I can use nothing, I can wash dishes because I can go back and forth in the bathroom and the sink, what did show and then go back and you know, in the bathroom got mold too. I got mold in the bathroom. Oh wow! You understand? He only come in to pull a spray and that's it. That's for a long time. And then pizza and coming back, you know, like that, you know. How long has it been like that? Like a year because he put he put it back. He fixed it and he put it back, but he coming back the same the same day. He coming back. Mm -hmm. I got that for a long time, the right coming from there for that hole. So I got a lot of damage in my apartment, a lot of damage. Hey, you I have never seen them sanitize this, what we in now, never, never. This is where we are. Okay, they mop. In two hours time, three of them came out. So every night I just put the boric acid. So when I saw it there, I just take it and I put my own. I put boric acid myself. And I have a space under my door, so I put two rugs. But all of this, I wanted to make sure. When I put in the ticket, they told me that my ticket was in since 2019. I had the ticket number and everything. And, you know, mm -hmm. when were they gonna like come here? You mean you couldn't touch me no day? But the reason why my sofa is this way is because this is where it doesn't leak. My sofa used to be this way, and then I had to change it because of the, the leaks and everything. But last year, this sofa was a revolving door. But this part here was really, really leaking bad. So my son came, he threw out everything. He was like, Ma, he was like, call housing and see. Maybe housing could do you a paint job and maybe they could do you, you know, like a fix the ceiling. One time the, the ceiling had collapsed, so they came in and they did this. But I didn't paint it or anything. I was gonna do everything. We got the stimulus money. I said, okay, you know, take that into good. You call, they want five to six hundred dollars for a studio. This is the main problem. There's a pipe broken connected to the boiler. I went through the whole winter. Like I said before, my stove very hot. Like if I had the oven on, my kitchen, my refrigerator, I thought it was broken. How uh hot. -huh. They opened it up. They looked in there, they saw the pipe. Now they're trying to say that it's not here, it's next door. The wall is very hot, so I did call it in. I get nauseous, I get headaches, I get stomach ache, and also I get very bad asthma. Latina Brown, when she was here, it happened to her. She said, I gotta go, I gotta go outside. She felt better. This is the same way I feel when I go outside. And that's very dangerous. I get the most of it, but there's people here that are having the same problem. I live, I have 
1471-73 Watson Avenue Resident Council, which is our development. Yes. I oppose NYCHA blueprint because I believe public housing should stay public. Yeah. Yeah. Residents who don't live in NYCHA can also participate. You all can participate as well. We need a new roof. The pipes has to be all renewed because it's been 25 years that this building is deteriorating, it's falling apart, and that's why NYCHA has been bullying us the solution to tenants because the first thing they want to say, I want to move, I want to move because that's what they want. The Blasio, you're supposed to be our hero. You're supposed to be our representative. We voted for you. And this is what you have done in the county of the Bronx. Now NYCHA is saying, I'm trying to sell your homes underneath you without fixing the mold in your bathroom, without fixing the heat. The heat is so high, my son got a nosebleed and I thought he was choking. You understand? It took them from the whole winter cycle to fix the pipes. We ride in elevators and my son thinks he has to stomp his feet to make the damn door close. So they are trying to kill us and trying to think we have to fight for repairs when our rent should cover it. They're saying that we are filth, we are trash, we don't care about where we live and we need to prove them wrong. And I'm proud to say that 1471-73 NYCHA is proving NYCHA wrong. Yeah. Because you guys are keeping your hallways clean. Right? While I was living here, the living conditions were horrible. My son was eating paint that was falling off the wall. They were refused to fix it, so I had to wallpaper it myself. The ceiling was falling down in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. oh I was afraid to use the bathroom. My kids could not use the bathroom. They were scared. So they finally, yeah, they repaired that. We got our transfer, and I'm going through the same issues. I have a cabinet that is completely molded. I had the ticket in for two years. We're from a steam leak. I have rats coming all over the place. They eat in the, I have pictures. It's horrible, you should see it. I call for exterminators. They will not show up. And the door, they came, all they did was remove the door that fell on my children. And now I have another door that's falling, but I've been duct taping it and trying to hold it. The doors are falling apart. They will not come in, fix nothing and I, I don't know what else to do. And my rent is paid, mind you. The more you come after me, the more I'm gonna go on the media. The more I'm gonna shout you out because you are not gonna throw us out. You're not gonna mistreat us and you're not gonna bully us. We are not gonna take it. Like that rock song, we are not gonna take it.